So this week's video, we're gonna talk about some past projects that we've worked on, where are they now, how are they holding up, and any problems or issues that I may have with them. And up first is this coffee station that you might recall. This was made out of Baltic birch plywood that was painted white. And the problem with painting a coffee station white is it shows up all the coffee grounds. And with this particular unit, although I, I still love the whiteness, so I'm, a, I'm okay with keeping it white and just dealing with the mess. But as it got wet, you can see all the little cracks that have developed. Let's get this sanded and painted. When we're done painting it and the paint dries, I will probably put a couple coats of spray lacquer or polyurethane on top just to protect it a little bit more so we don't get the cracks that we saw before. When the very first time I painted this, I tried to use spray paint. The coverage isn't that good. It takes a long time and it takes many coats and it's messy and it smells and you gotta do outdoors. Whenever you can roll on paint, it's so much easier than spray painting. The leg is broke right here. I know why that is. It's from moving it on the floor. And what I should have done is like chamfered the edges here so that wouldn't catch. So let's glue that up right now. So, and once it's dry, I'll just lift this up and I'm gonna take a file and just file a little chamfer all along the edge so it doesn't do that anymore. I suppose I could also glue on some little rubber pads on the bottom. So this is the lift top coffee table that we made a little over a year ago and it is still holding up super strong. As you re might recall, the base is made out of aluminum, which I used a brazing technique, and I'll have a link to the build video and the brazing video down below. There was a lot of hate in those comments saying that is never going to hold up. And to all those haters out there, this is held up just fine. It is super strong. None of the joints are loose or broke at all. The only issue is up down here where the base is screwed into the top, these screws are starting to strip out. And so the top is a little loose from the base. So what I need to do is remove the screws and put bolts in there with a nut on the other side. So this table gets a lot of abuse. I use this as a footstool all the time like this. In addition to being a footstool, we have our feet up on the edges here, and this is always a good place to rest our feet down here. And so the paint is starting to wear on this aluminum bar down here. But as far as the brazing, that is held up super, super well. Let's talk about the inside of it. I made a couple of modifications. So we'll lift this up here, and you can see, oh, check this out. Remember the uh, armrest beer holder? That's in here. Remember my wedding ring? That's a good place to put it. All right, so I drilled a hole over here and then drilled a, a hole in the carpet and I now have power here where we can plug in all of our devices. And so I also needed a place for the wires to go through. So I, I drilled a half hole here and a half hole here. So when the table closes, boom, we can charge our devices it's almost impossible to drill a half hole. So what you need to do is take a piece of wood that's the same size, jed clamp it down. Then once you have a piece of wood secure, you can then drill a hole, remove that, and then you get your little half moon. I'm gonna go back to the video where, the, the t where I show how to make the table legs and uh, show all the haters that this thing is still holding up pretty darn good. One of the issues that we have with this is when we have the table up, and there are two people eating and you put your elbows on here, the whole thing wants to, it's not doing it now, but it wants to tip this way. So when you have a bunch of food and drinks and there's two people leaning on it, it'll tip. So what I had to do was put some weight in here and one dumbbell is just enough, but uh, you know, sometimes I lift and work. Do you even lift bro? So one of the earlier projects on my channel was these two by six wooden crates. And I've used them at craft shows for displays, but when I'm not doing craft shows, I have them as a bookshelf here in my office. And I keep all my vintage cameras 
and projectors up there and uh, all my woodworking books and magazines are down here and these have held up pretty well there's just brad nails and glue in there and they seem to be plenty strong each crate costs four dollars to make because i think you can get a two by six at the home depot for four bucks not a bad deal and they're, they're pretty fun to make and easy because there's no sanding or staining or finishing also look at this look at that. one of my old beer totes um i took the bottle opener off and used it for something else but yeah not to brag but i did write a book you should check that out and look i got new stickers i need a new desk and right now i have two old glass desks in the corner with a piece of plywood on there to make a corner desk and so this is where i do all my film editing all my my music making uh got the power amplifier got the monitor speakers this is where also where i record the podcast so we got the microphone up here and then uh up here we have uh, this just reduces the sound reflection from the ceiling and you might recall a video a while back where we made these acoustic panels i do need to make a couple more because as you can see i just got some foam things sitting up against the wall but this is my workstation and i just need a more functional better looking desk i'm working on designs for the desk right now i've yet to come up with anything i like but i want to do something a little wacky something a little out of the ordinary and as you know i love mid-century modern stuff so you know it's going to have some of that i don't think it's going to have drawers it might have a little pull out for my keyboard controller and um, the drum pad but it's i think i'm going to make separate file cabinets that will actually roll out and then I can kind of use them for more desk space when needed. Because sometimes when you're, when you're making music and you got stuff all over the place, you just need more room. And then when I'm not using it, I can slide it underneath there. So that's the plan. New desk coming later this summer. Hold me to it. You guys remember the guitar build? Still have not painted it. Uh, I have no excuses. There's really no excuse for me to not have that painted by now. So keep bugging me about it and I will do that. I have all the supplies, everything I need to do it. I just haven't done it because I'm not real excited about it. I'm more excited about like desk builds and making failed cookie projects. This is a project I have never filmed. It's a mess in there. We're not gonna open up, but glass doors and it's got, it's got the recorder rest symbol on here. I made it just for this keyboard as a nice keyboard stand and to hold papers and photography equipment. Thing is, I don't use this keyboard anymore. And so it's gonna go I'm gonna sell that and then ooh, look how dusty that is but there's a stripe uh, a walnut stripe that goes all the way down and it's got some contrasting plugs in there is an 1800s Empire State guitar I don't know much about Empire State somebody told me that um, one of the guys from Martin went off to start his own company or one of the guys from this company went to work for Martin. I don't remember, but this belongs to my stepdad and uh, it's coming apart. And so I need to re-glue some things. And since it's from the 1800s, it probably is, has hide glue, which I can just heat, pull apart and then re-glue. One of the issues is this bridge down here, it's cracked. So if you have any ideas on how to repair this, I don't know if I can just take solder or whatever and kind of repair that or if I should just make a new one but I'm looking for ideas on how to repair this crack because if I put strings on here right now that'll just break right off these are the speakers that I made a while back uh, there are a lot of audio files out there told me that they were going to sound like um, but they sound great I listen to old Rolling Stones records I don't listen to Bon Jovi's this is my cow toothed face oh look at this guy look at this guy Ah, uh, the wooden coffee mug, the unusable wooden coffee mug. Right now it's hiding all the router wires down in there. Hey, wake up, wake up. And you might recognize these planter boxes that we made last year. I've made a couple more since that video and we have them along the front deck and along the two windows. And the lovely Kelly has filled them with flowery goodness. This is a cutting board. Um, this particular cutting board I did not make in a video, but I did make one similar with the 45 degree sides. There were some comments in that video saying the cutting board is going to tip over when you put all your weight on there, so you're an idiot. Well, 
We've never had the cutting board tip over and I'm not an idiot. Stop calling me an idiot. These are just little holes that I drilled and then filled it with some dowel. In the middle here is a knot that I filled with epoxy. The finish that we used on this was the salad bowl finish and you can see how it has worn. There is no cutting board finish that will last forever. You always will have to reapply. We'll do one coat of mineral oil. So once the mineral oil soaks in for a couple of hours, we'll come back with a mixture of mineral oil and paraffin wax. So Eric was just saying, you know, I should, I should uh, play some, some sexy porn music as I'm pouring this on here real slow. And I told him about the Love Boat video that I did a couple months ago, where I, I recorded some slow motion glue coming out of the bottle with the Love Boat theme. And most of you loved it and thought it was funny and got the humor. And a handful of you said unsubscribed and left me. I'm okay with that. I don't want those people watching my channel anyway. All right, so now we're going to heat up some paraffin wax. By heat it up, I mean melt it. We'll add a little bit of mineral oil to it. Oh, I don't know, 50-50 maybe. We will put that right on the cutting board. You can see as it dries, there's a little, little waxy film on there, which will rub off in a little bit. You even lift, bro? And that wax is filling in all those little crevices in the grain. All that's left is to buff this out and screw on the feet. That wraps up the video. That is tart. Oh man. Dude, it's tart as hell. Yeah. You don't want any. I have started a second channel where all my talkies and all my new vlogs are over there. So if you're interested in my vlogs or watching the old wrap ups or the old makers and shakers, check out Make Something 2. There will be a link down below. If you want to support me and what I do, check out my Patreon page. Patreon people get the extended vlogs every week, plus they get into the giveaways. What do we give away? We give away all kinds of things, from things that I make, to tools, to what else do we give away? Hey dude, what do we give away? My book, we've been giving away my book. I'm sure I'll give away future books. So head on over to Patreon to support me and what I do. I'm super active on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Go to my website at makesomething.tv for all kinds of tutorials and plans. As always, be safe, be passionate, and make something. All right, we're done.